so I direct cut my oats, so I'm cutting them, you know, standing. Uh, I don't swat. So the, you know, the head I use is a, a bean head. And I lock up the cutter bar, the floating cutter bar. Um, and that's so that the reel functions good when you're holding the head up. Uh, because in a lot of conditions, you're cutting a ways off the ground because you don't want the, the wet green stuff at the bottom of the plant to be fed through the combine. So starting at the head, you know, I, I have to make some adjustments, you know, to the reel and to the cutter bar, uh, other than locking it up. Uh, so that it's pulling in the oats efficiently. And that usually means lowering the reel down and getting it pretty close to the auger. Inside the combine, you're, basic, you're very close to the soybean settings. And being that these are food grade oats, I do use almost all of the wind in the combine uh, to blow the light ones out. And you do end up with a pretty clean sample uh, right out of the combine because you're using a lot of wind and in good oats you don't really see much on the ground behind the combine because most of the oats are filled out nicely and uh, and, and you're not going to blow them out and the ones that you do see are most likely the light ones that you don't want in the sample anyway. Uh, I use a lot of rotor speed right now I'm at 860 uh, it's a drier day the, the Oats are now dead ripe. The straw is a lot more, uh, it, it breaks up a lot easier. When <clears throat> conditions are a little tough going and the straw is wetter, I'll run roller speeds up to a thousand RPM, which typically we can't run that in soybeans because it'll crack, crack the soybeans. As far as concave clearance, uh, when conditions are tough, I'll, uh, I'll tar tighten it right up to a 16th or less. Uh, today, with dryer straw, I'm opened up uh, maybe 3 sixteenths or a little bit over an eighth. I never go over a quarter of an inch. Um, so the better you s learn how to, you know, and there's a learning curve to it, but the better you set the combine, uh, the better your sample's gonna be, the higher test weight it is, and uh, the better day you're going to have because you're going to do, um, you're going to be a lot more efficient in combining the oats.